In Tuesday's video, we spoke all about the Quant Overledger technology, which has been adopted and tested by some of the biggest banks, financial institutions, and tech companies in the world. Now, in today's video, we are going to be speaking about the Quant Utility Token itself and whether or not I believe this project does in fact have that 100x potential. You can expect to hear about all of this and more in today's episode of the Everything Crypto Show. Now, before we hop into the content, just a friendly reminder that I am not a financial advisor, nor do I offer financial advice on YouTube. I am simply here for your crypto news and entertainment purposes. And if you do find these videos informative or entertaining, please consider it in that sub and like button. And I do appreciate all of the support on the channel. So we're going to talk about quant today. And if you guys did not check out Tuesday's video, which was really sort of a deep dive into the utility of the quant over Overledger itself and some of the major collaborations and partnerships the Quant Network has. I mean, we're talking about the Bank of England, the Bank for International Settlements, the Bank of Canada, Barclays, MasterCard, Amazon, Oracle, and more. So if you want to understand that a little bit more in depth and the utility of the Overledger, please check out Tuesday's video. Now, what we're going to talk about today is specifically pertaining to the Quant Utility Token itself. This is the utility token of of the quant overledger and we're going to talk about the direct link between the quant token and the quant overledger and then get into the tokenomics and some of the potential prices this token could see in the future using some market cap comparisons so here's a really nice infographic that just kind of gives you a breakdown on the quant utility token itself and all the different use cases it does have with the quant overledger and number one here is enterprise licenses so quant tokens must be be provided to quant network in exchange for an annual license price of the access will be fixed in fiat and the number of tokens needed will vary depending on the price of quant number two is developer licenses developers will be able to obtain an annual license to develop applications on overledger through the purchase of quant tokens equivalent to a fixed fiat amount and uh, basically these these quant licenses are locked for 12 months okay so enterprises and developers that want to get their hands on everything the quant overledger does have to offer they actually are purchasing it in fiat dollars an equivalent amount of quant that is locked for a 12 month period in line with their license platform fees so a platform fee is calculated as a percentage of the license fee in quant and will be payable by all users and developers identity and account a minimum quant holding is put in place for every participant of the overledger ecosystem the wallet storing quant is basically the identity for the account transaction processing quant tokens are used to validate sign and encrypt every transaction that flows through overledger every enterprise client developer user and application validates each transaction using their quant linked to their id and account no transaction action can flow through overledger without being securely validated by the quant token so very similarly to how you use ethereum to pay for gas fees on the ethereum blockchain you use quant tokens to pay for transactions via the quant overledger then application users so users will need to hold quant tokens to be able to run multi-chain applications and you can basically see here factoring for the enterprise and developer licenses platform fees and transaction process is that the quant token is in fact necessary to really utilize the quant overledger so now that we've got that out of the way I, I wanted to cover that first because that's the first thing a lot of people say is well you know even if the quant overledger does what it does does this actually equate to demand for the quant token and yes it does based on the information described in this infographic and now with that out of the way, we are going to get into the actual price of the quant token itself. And first off, I want to take a look at quant right here as it currently sits. So we can see here that, you know, back in 2018, this, this token actually ICO'd at a price of about 25 cents. And at its peak in the last bull market, this hit an all-time high of 
$428. Now, since that all-time high in 2022, it hit a bear market low of about $45, and we started covering quant on the channel back here in May, June in that double-digit territory. Uh, so it bottomed out at about $45, and last year, it went on a very impressive run from $45 up to $228, which was basically equivalent to about a 440% move in the middle of a bear market. However, since that move, quant has come back down to $100, and we can see here that since November of last year, so basically for an entire year, quant has just shuffled sideways between you know, $85 and 150 160 but basically it has been flat for a majority of the year at that $100 level, as you can see here, right? Like just take a look at how many candles for quant are around that $100 zone. But if you actually had basically just been playing this $100, hundred dollar area over the past year and a half it is made for some very juicy swing trades in fact let's take a look at every single swing trade that you could have made after that hundred dollar zone uh basically after the bottom at 45 bucks back there in june of 2022 so in july we actually saw a bounce from 100 up to 130 for a nice 30 percent rally in september 2022 up till october we saw that move from 100 up to 228 so 128 percent rally here in November, another 30% rally from 100 up to 130. In the new year, we saw a rally from 100 up to 160 for a nice 60% move. Here in May, we actually saw a rally 20% uh, from 100 up to 120. I mean, we can just keep going on, right? Here in July, we saw a rally from 100 up to 113 for a nice 13% rally. And even if you had bought it here at $100 and watched it go down to 85, it did after that hit that $109 area for another nice 9% rally, okay? So yes, even at this $100 zone, it has made for some very nice trading opportunities, but that is honestly not what we're here to talk about when it comes to quant, okay? We are talking about the potential of this product Project in the future. So I want to show you, first of all, a very interesting chart. This was posted by Legit Crypto Nerd on Twitter. And basically what he's doing is showing you the previous performance of quant compared to where it sits at the moment or at the time that this chart was made anyways. And basically what he's showing you here is that after quant actually peaked during its first kind of run, we saw a 90% decline on this token from the peak to the bottom. Now we actually saw quant go on a 29,821% run. And uh, that actually brought us to the previous and the, the current all-time high of $428. Now, from that all-time high of $428, Quant did once again fall 90% from that peak to bottom, from $428 down to $42. And basically what this chart is showing is that if quant was to mimic the run that it made in the last bull market from that bottom of $42, and if, if it did make that 29.8K percent run to the upside, that would basically be equivalent to a $12,000 quant per token. And uh, when it comes to crypto, I definitely am a believer in diminishing returns, right? Like every cycle is basically going to give less of a return than the last one. As the market cap goes up, it's obviously hot. Uh, it's, it takes a lot more money to continue pushing these projects to the upside. And uh, I think Bitcoin's a perfect example of that, right? Like if we take a look at Bitcoin on a log scale, we can, we can basically just see here, right? Like the gains in the beginning were a lot faster than they are now. And it's kind of tapering off as Bitcoin is sort of hitting that exponential growth curve. And we can see that there, right? Like it's kind of just gone from going up to kind of going a little more sideways, but still moving to the upside, as you can see on the log scale. So even if we do account for diminishing returns on quant, okay, let's say that it doesn't hit that $12,000 mark. Let's say, for example, that quant actually provides diminishing returns of about 20% from that uh, from that previous performance. Well, you take 20% off of $12,000 and that gives you a $10,000 price tag. Now, this is really important when it comes to quant, okay, because I think the big question is, you know, how can quant even hit such a high number? If we look at majority of these cryptocurrencies, right, 
like XRP here is sitting in the in the 60 cent range. Uh, Solana is at 58 bucks. Cardano 38 cents. Dogecoin 7 cents. Tron is 10 cents. I mean, we're talking about projects here. Matic 78 cents. Yet all of these have a higher market cap than Quant. They rank higher than Quant in terms of total market capitalization. And the reason is because there is simply way more of these tokens in circulation. Quant has a very scarce supply of 14.88 million. And that effectively means that uh, there is less Quant to go around than a lot of these other tokens. In fact, if we actually compare Quant to Bitcoin itself with a total supply of 21 mil, you can see here that if Quant had Bitcoin's market cap currently, one Quant would be worth 50.7K, while one Bitcoin is currently worth 37.7k and that's because there is about one third less quant in circulation than there is bitcoin so this is where tokenomics come into play okay and i do think that utility is very important but i think that a lot of people tend to overlook tokenomics of certain projects when i hear people say things like xrp is going to go to 589 dollars i mean it just shows me that a lot of people probably overlook the tokenomic side of things and i think that that is something that should never be discounted because utility it is obviously a more fundamental driver of growth but tokenomics are a mathematical factor that really can't be argued when it comes to valuing tokens so what I want to do now is walk you through some market cap comparisons and kind of take a look at what we could potentially see from quant in the future. OK, so let's take a look at XRP and go to the maximum chart here on XRP for market cap. And uh, we're going to see what XRP's all time high market cap was whenever CoinGecko wants to load for me. And I would consider this to be like a, a pretty good comparison because XRP is the native token of the XRP ledger, just as Quant is the native token of the Quant Overledger. Both are DLT technologies powered by their respective tokens. And XRP's all time high market cap came in here at 131.6 billion. So let's go to XRP and let's give it that all time high market cap of 131.6 billion and we can see here that if quant had the market cap of xrp's all-time high market cap one quant token would be worth nine thousand and forty eight dollars an upside of 91x okay and and in that same price point like xrp only sat at about just over the three dollar level because there is a hundred billion xrp tokens compared to a mere 14.8 million quant now let's actually take a look here at Chainlink. I think this is yet another very good uh, kind of like comparative example between quant you know chain link does power different things like the ccip which facilitates interoperability the same way that the quant overledger does facilitate this kind of stuff as well so once again i do think that this makes for a good comparison so we're going to go to the maximum chart here for chain link go ahead and take a look at the market cap and uh, we can see here that Chainlink's market cap came in at an all-time high of about 22 billion. So let's go ahead and put in 22 bill for the market cap here for Chainlink. And uh, that would actually have one quant sitting at $1,500, an upside of 14x from its current price. Now, just to, just to, okay, let's take a look at what Chainlink's current market cap is, okay? The current market cap right now sits at $8 billion. So let's go ahead and assign quant an $8 billion market cap. And even there, like if Quant was to reach Chainlink's current market cap of a billion, one Quant would be worth $550, an upside of 459% from current prices. So understand, I'm not saying that this has to happen, that this will happen. I am simply saying that if, if you believe Quant can achieve the market cap of these other projects, it has immense upside potential when compared to these other coins. And that's not only because of the utility but it is because of the tokenomics and scarcity of this token the other important thing to mention is that majority of quant is in circulation so you don't have to worry about further token unlocks and further dilution and uh okay one thing i do want to kind of wrap this up with is taking a look at the quant versus bitcoin chart as well we've taken a look at the quant versus usd chart let's take a look at the quant versus bitcoin chart and i want to show you guys something i think it's i think it's pretty important to value your your coins not only in their usd pair but also in their bitcoin pair because it kind of makes the argument of you know if your altcoin is underperforming versus bitcoin why not just buy bitcoin so uh, you know considering bitcoin is kind of like the gold standard for crypto
are just the king of crypto, the gold standard, no pun intended. Um, I do think it's worth kind of looking at this valuation as well, right? And we can see here that quant basically goes through these periods of massively outperforming Bitcoin and then periods of massively underperforming Bitcoin. All right. So we can actually see here. Let's get the arrow marker arrow marker. Yeah. I mean, you guys can see here, right? Like there is oh, that is a huge arrow. OK, but phase one of quant under or outperforming Bitcoin phase two of quant outperforming Bitcoin here. This was actually during that run up during the bear market. Now, let's take a look at what quant tends to do when it peaks out versus Bitcoin. OK, so actually, let me get rid of these. Let me get rid of these arrows. These things are way too big. <laughs> Okay, so the first time we saw Quant actually outperform Bitcoin and go on a run, we saw it rally here about 3,600% versus Bitcoin. Now, from that peak performance versus Bitcoin, we then saw Quant go down about 77% before finding a bottom back on this uptrending channel. Now, once again, from that bottom, we saw Quant outperform Bitcoin here in 2022 by about 459%. Okay, so diminishing returns here even versus Bitcoin. And then from that peak, we saw quant it has currently bottomed out at about that 78 to 79 percent mark very similar to its last period of underperforming bitcoin now the one thing to keep in mind here is that unlike the first time this uptrend is actually no longer intact we have broken the uptrend but quant versus bitcoin is also sitting at a pretty key area of support and i am curious to see how it responds here so let me know in the comments what you think about the quant token are you bullish are you bearish i do want to hear your opinions on this project and on that note i hope you did enjoy the content in today's video i hope you all stay happy safe and healthy and hope to catch you in the next one peace out for now